27. Peter Dunlop, President. Yes. Bob Scanlon, President. Sandy Slavin. Jim Giberti. So we have a quorum. And we have before us minutes of the previous meeting and workshop, uh, June 13th. Any comments? I make a motion we approve the minutes of June 13 for the meeting and June 13 for the workshop. I have read them, I have reviewed them, and I find them to be complete and accurate. I second. second. Now, um, Bob, you were not here. Have you seen the video of the two meetings? Uh, no, I, I read the, uh, the included minutes here. I did not watch the video. So. It's okay. Okay, I have a motion, a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Four zero zero. We have no pending minutes. Do you have any abatement, Scott? There's none here. Anything last minute? No. Okay. Uh, we have some contracts. And one is from Seacoast Supply for $35,450,000. Uh, $35,450, excuse me. Is that one this pump, is, Scott? It's a very big pump, though. It pumps, <coughs> it pumps sludge, so it's... Sludge pump. <laughs> Didn't know that. Where is it? <coughs> Currently, it's with them. They evaluated it and gave us a cost. Is it at the plant? <coughs> yes. The station at the it's plant? It's for the plant, yes. It, it's how we transfer a sludge at the plant from one tank up to our uh, okay. trucks to get rid of it. Do I have a motion for acceptance? I make a motion we accept the contract from Seacoast Supply for $35,450. Seconded. Bob, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's four zero zero. And it's my understanding it's being funded by the equipment line of the budget? Correct. Okay, we have one here from Ironclad Environmental Solutions. Now, this is a contract not to exceed $20,135.89. Give uh, me that dollar amount, please. I, did I hear it right? 20. Thank you. Yep. You got the rest? What is this guy? Ironclad provided tanks that were being used to store excess sludge and grease at the plant. We they were being rented. That's the monthly fee for all the months that they had been rented. So uh, it's retroactive? It's it is, work. Yeah, or it's so we have to clean them before we return them? I already did it. We, we already got, as soon as I got here, we started removing them one by one. We worked very hard over the winter to get those cleaned out and removed, and now we just need to pay the bill. Well, who cleaned it, you or them? We cleaned it, I cleaned it. Oh, not, well, our staff cleaned it. So this is for prior rentals, past rentals? Correct. It's for what? Rentals for tanks. Oh, it's the rental for the tank, not the actual yes. cleaning. No. No, no this no, is the rental. It included uh, they hit us with an environmental fee. They were going to do that no matter how clean we got well, them. It says for delivering and cleaning of three 20,000 gallon tanks. Yes. But if you've already cleaned them. But it was rentals, cleaning. They were going to hit us with a delivery fee, the rental fee, and a cleaning fee no matter how clean. But they wouldn't even accept them until we got them. Look at the cleaned, date of the range. Clean. This has already happened. Yeah, this is past tense. These are past. We need the contract in order to pay the bill right. going back to July of 23. And we need the contract because it's in excess of $20,000. And that's 
that's a requirement. Go for it. Could I have a motion on this, please? Um. Well, do we, we need the contract? So, we don't, yeah, this so there's is, nothing we can do with this now. No, we're just this is just to pay the bill. Okay, so it's so. acceptable to make a motion to. Well, then, as written, I uh, recommend that we accept it as written to uh, to pay it not to exceed twenty thousand one hundred and thirty-five dollars and eighty-nine cents. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zippy. And it's, it's coming out of the sludge disposal line item of the budget. And we have one here from Missions Communications, which is uh, an equipment that's been installed at the lift stations and plant to monitor alarms and notify us when they go off. They're a sole source vendor. The contract's in the amount of 20000 $23.80 from July 3rd of 23 through September 20th of 24. How come we're just getting these now? I mean, we have, we've been using their equipment and haven't paid them? Yeah, that's what I was just going to mm. so Are we? Are, <laughs> I can explain. You're going to see a couple more. Uh, I believe there's a couple more probably on the agenda actually look at it but we have a new bookkeeper and she's been quite diligent about getting things out the door to get paid and as a result they're getting kicked back to us because we're finding out from accounting we've never had contracts for any of these things that we've already been paying for since well before my tenure here so as a result we're cleaning things up and moving forward in the appropriate fashion no wonder. What it comes down to, Sandy, is that in the past, one of these bills would come through on a weekly sheet, but it's one bill for whatever the amount was. It wasn't for that much. And it would go through, and that's the way they would well, on these other two as well. That's what would happen. Uh, so no one since questioned. Since we've got the new bookkeeper, She's putting all of these together and then submitting it, and Judy is now saying that if it's over $20,000 cumulative spent with a company, we have to have a contract. So, so that's what because this, the that's what dollar amount was so low every month, it wasn't no. bringing up a, a light exactly. bulb. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Until we have their new bookkeeper that says, Perfect. hey, wait a minute, there's something going on for monthly rental. Yep, but, which is good. But does that mean that we've been paying it all those times when it was a lesser amount? Yeah, because we paid on a, on a uh, weekly or so, monthly uh, basis. Instead so of basically what I'm asking, have we paid part of this $20,000? Yes, going back to July, July of 23, we've been paying it monthly. Okay, so we're not actually coming up with $20,000 at this point, whatever the balance is at this point. Yes. The well, total. We're, we're, approving, we're approving the, the we're contract. Approving the contract for having spent the money. Retroactively. Yeah. That, Correct. Yeah. We're not going to do this in the future. Right. I don't want to ask what the balance is. <laughs> Could I? That is the balance. Could I have a motion that on this? Is list? the balance? So if that is the balance, then the contract should have been written back in July. It was. Well, no, it should. Yes, you're right. It should have been yeah. written back yeah, in July. Yeah, you're right. I'm telling but you, this were, is what we're cleaning up. So, based on the last one, we, we'll need a contract for this as well, since it exceeds 20000 right. Correct. Okay. So I make a motion to accept it, uh, realizing that we need a contract and yep. uh, approve it for not to exceed $20,000, 80 Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. And now you have in your packets the billing for the town of Bourne. Double it. Uh, we have one for thirty-four thousand two ninety-seven sixty-five, 
and this is Bowen's share of the capital costs of the EQ basins. Okay. We have. Do we one. have to vote on these individually, Jimmy. Sandy. Yes. Probably would. Yeah. There are three better. separate yeah. pages for yeah. each one of the three billings. Yeah. Can I make a motion that we accept the recommendation. Well, who is it? Who's actually saying, sending us this? We're sending this to Bourne. We're sending this to Bourne. This is the bill to uh, Bourne. So I make a motion that we bill Bourne thirty-four thousand two hundred ninety-seven dollars and sixty-five cents for their portion of the cost for the equalization basins. Right. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, I see it. It was a contract on the second page. I'm sorry. Yep. Next, we have an amount that uh, was negotiated with Derek and the town manager down there a while back. Capital costs for Bourne uh, of $188,000. Four seventy-seven and fifty-three cents. And this is their portion of the capital cost for the water pollution control facility right. upgrade. I make a motion that we bill Bourne one hundred and eighty-eight thousand four hundred and seventy-seven dollars and fifty-three cents for their portion of the control facility upgrade. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero zero. And we have the flat rate charge due to born for sewer usage in the amount of four hundred and forty one thousand five hundred and twenty five dollars and sixteen cents. Not this one. Uh, I make a motion to accept the billing of uh, $441,525.16 to the town of Bourne for the yearly sewer usage for fiscal year 2024. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. okay. In the next item that we have been breathlessly awaiting. You're going to mention the letter? Mm hmm? You're going to mention the letter you wrote? Oh, yeah. I will. Thank you. I'll, I'll. I sent a letter to the a chair of the select board as well as copy to the town administrator and all of the boards in town stating that at our meeting on June 13th, 24, it was voted 300 to conditionally lift the sewer moratorium on construction of residential homes, additions to residential homes, and 40 Bs. Commercial requests will be handled on a case-by-case -case basis. That's an FYI. Uh, and now, front and center, Scott, you're on. Well, the uh, wastewater pollution control team continues to make a lot of progress at the plant, a lot of cleaning, a lot of landscaping lately. Uh, they've also been going around to all the lift stations, doing a lot of cleaning, landscaping. Um, we finally have all three pumps at Narrows working again. That's a little scary for a while. Um, I'd like to mention uh, Jared, our assistant water pollution control director, is uh, just had his child. I forget her name, but it's a baby girl. Everyone's healthy. Congratulations, Congratulations Jared. Congratulations, Jared. We uh, are looking forward to starting the new labor contracts and new fee structures. So we're going to be able to attract some. We're going to be able to attract some new candidates and um, looking forward to that. So otherwise things are going as good as they can. 
no huge increase in, in flow so far this summer. Um, so everything's going very well. Have you, you managed, have you managed any increase in staff? Say that again? Have you managed to get any increase in staff? Yes. Uh, last week, we got um, a resident here to, to start working with us. And his specialty is actually lining pipes and making manholes waterproof. And uh, we're looking forward to getting him rolling on that. But so far, he jumped right in, and he's been doing landscaping and stuff until we can get him on the road. Beautiful. Uh, Anything else you want to throw into the mix? Oh, yeah, no. Any questions for Scott? Yes, have you approved any hookups since we released the moratorium retroactively? I did. I did. Very good. So they came through, and I said, no problem. They just have to, uh, some of them just have to find the location of where they're going to tie in. Um, there was actually a house that was being built on Minot Ave and or Minot. What is Minot. It? Minot. Sorry, I'll get it all right next year. And uh, he um, had actually, had, he's on a septic. He was putting a brand new septic in with the brand new homes. And I, I, I called the engineer and they just assumed stay on their septic because they would have to tie into the pressure lines of this. I, I, I don't want them to do that. So they would have to otherwise find a way to get to gravity. Are those the uh, four ones yeah, going on top sure. of the hill? I can't recall. Because the others had been approved to tie into the force main. The ones like the snow, the old snow and Jones here. So between snow and yeah. um, the round. Right. Previously approved to tie. Previously approved. Okay. That, so no. there were. To be six very clear, ho six homes. I will not be likely looking to do anything like that again. Fine. The more times we perforate that line, the, the worse off it is. Yeah. So those new, if you leave Wareham going to Wood Onset, all those new homes on the left had been approved to tie into the force main. Okay. One, one for each one of the new No, that's branches. not right. That's not exactly right. Just, just. Why? Because it isn't. I thought we, I thought we brought them across the street to go into the old pump station. Exactly. No, the ones down at the end by the. Um, I'm talking the other end. You you've just, got you just made the comment that all the ones on that side of the street, which is incorrect. Some of the ones on that side of the street, yes, will get be tied into the Force Main, but we had a couple just before the Stone Jones building. I believe they're routed in through the There's Stone Jones. There's nothing before going going Wareham into Onset. There's nothing before Snow. With that first, well, I'm sorry, the first one afterwards supposed to be tied in through them. That pump station that was going to be abandoned because of the elementary school? I, I don't know if it was that one or the one that Snow's tied into. That's but the it one. seems to me that we, first they portion. weren't tying into the fourth main. Correct. And we were going back across the street to tie in. But the others were. Right. The others were. Because I thought we had an issue with it, Snow. It, it, we had an issue with him because there was that, uh, you know, the, the pump station fiasco. You know, who owns the pump station? School owns it. No, you do. No, the school owns it. No, it's town. No, it's. A Bottom line was the pump station is still there. They were using it. They requested maintain. They would maintain it. Maintaining it, yes. And keep using it, and that's what sits. Okay. So the new home next to them. Was going into, the was two going to new homes next to them were going to tie up there? Yep. Tie in with them, yes. Oh, I guess I don't, didn't, never mind. But the others all were into Force Main because I know we, right. That's, we made that, them put a bond were, yes. and everything a huge else. bond. Yes, right. a yeah. bond, yeah. Yes. So there were two connections for the Force Main yep. before Onset Ave. Right. Uh, yeah, each okay. they they combined I them. They came together and they only went in at one no, place. The, they were so far apart, so you had two that came into one place and the two down near the liquor store came in as one to one. So there were there were two connections, but right. four homes. Yep. Because they combined them in only to make only one connection for each one of the two structures. 
I remember the coming together. Okay, maybe that's what it was. So okay. these two homes, you know. Otherwise, they, they were looking for four. I yes, think. and we said you couldn't have. Yeah, yeah. okay. I, I, I remember that now. Okay, and FYI for everybody, uh, Charlie Lombardi is going to be finishing up his report, and I should get copies of that to be able to get to everybody this coming week. He will be in attendance at our next meeting uh, to go over the report. Uh, but I wanted everybody to see it before that happens. You all done? The GHD will also be at our next meeting uh, to give us updates, but also they're going to have a letter that we need to sign uh, authorizing whatever contract that gets selected, the bid opening, the contract that is the day before our meeting, and you know, mass law, you got to take the lowest bidder. So, and that's for the narrows. Uh, no. no, that's for no, the, so plant. the plant. Oh, that's plant. Yeah, this is the plant. Uh, oh, what happened at planning board? I fell asleep. So did they. Did we get well, approval? Yeah, uh, we wouldn't be talking about this if we didn't. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we have to sign that, then that goes to DEP, is that correct? It goes up to, it goes to, the, state. State, to the state, anyhow. Where we they, get lost. They, uh, they basically bless it and allow us now to be able to access the funds or have the ability there. And then it'll come back to Derek for final signature. So it's going to get up to the state just about the time they all go on their summer, their summer break. Of course it will. Of course it will. Okay, our next meeting date and time is July 11th. And the time is going to be 6.30. 6 o'clock is a Scribner's era. Can we talk about what just came down on nitrogen loading? About what? Then what are we going to talk about? Well, what are we going to do about it? How are we going to make those numbers that the state is asking for? I haven't seen anything that the state's actually asking for. I you see just, things. You got the letter. You passed it on to us. I know. I got the letter, but and I've said, given that to GHD and let them. And because it in it it said we can ask GHD almost when like here. a forty nine percent reduction. We can ask GHD when they're here in a couple of weeks. Can we I put it on it. the agenda as a I special? I have asked GHD to reference this at the next meeting. Did I not say this once or twice or three times now? Well, I was hoping to have it as a separate topic in case somebody wanted to see, be here to listen to it as opposed to just I'll say GHD. They, I'll see what they've got. Well, yeah, well, it'll be on there. But uh, I believe there's grants available through some of this, and that's what I've asked them to look into. Yes, Peter. Are we having a workshop? On the 11th, before the meeting? What would the topic be? That's exactly what I wanted to get at. We can do that. Well, we've never discussed these EV routes. We're not going to at that, with this one yet. It's, well, it's hard. Well, if that's you why could, I wanted to do it You could a have workshop. a workshop you'd have to do without me. I've got a commitment at 530. Well, Five. I, I, I just want to know when we're going to deal with these EDUs. I don't know yet. Uh, all right, let me just throw it out there. If the next meeting is on the 11th, do we want a uh, workshop meeting? Well, that, that uh, kind of what we, I was asking, Jim. Uh, yeah. Or uh, just a regular meeting. I think, I think we have a lot to discuss on the nitrogen loading email letter that came out of the state and that's going to take some discussion and ghd to me i think our i think whatever we do for edus has to be a workshop i don't disagree i don't think we're at the stage to discuss that at this point agree that, that's Wait, very which, that's which very part involved. Are you not willing the, uh, to discuss it uh all of the commercial oh whatever happened with mr bowen and our Point two and increase on. You were going to meet with Rich regarding our motion to increase the EDU per bedrooms. 
I haven't got before him yet. I, Does it mean we can implement this? Because yes. we said it couldn't be implemented until the attorney approved it. Uh, it was pending approval by the attorney, so we haven't implemented it yet. So to fo make it okay. formal, uh, I make a motion that we uh, authorize Jimmy Giberti to meet with town council. He'll have to get approval from the uh, chair of the select board to make that happen. I want a formal motion that we approve that. Do I have a motion? Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Because we said that we would not implement that new ch EDU yeah, change until we get attorney well, we'll review. Yeah. I said that, and I only because I can see a can of worms coming from it. It was in the motion. Yeah. Yes. So until it, we have so attorney's approval, mm -hmm. we can't implement. As soon as it goes into effect, I'm seeing my lawyer. And I'm going to get put in an application for an abatement because I have 0.2 EDUs. Okay. All right, back to the next meeting. And back to the question of the workshop. That's the question for the next meeting. Now we have okay. a, do right. we want a workshop? I'm just asking. Yep. Well, we've got the nitrogen situation that's, that's just surfaced. That's another one of the hydras that have popped up. And uh, I mean, I don't think there's anything we can do on that nitrogen uh, or any place to go with it at the moment until we get a little bit more information both from the state on whatever the requirements are actually going to be other than the flag waving they're doing at the moment uh, and what GHD Agreed. has to say about anything that's involved because they're looking into that article and you know, what the grant proposal the availability etc is so until we have some more information to work with it's kind of a waste of time to just talk about it we won't solve anything with it so well scott is it possible to say how many edus do we currently have? Can you break it down between residential and commercial? Right now, no. I mean, I can look at but I, if what I, we have on record. If I ask you how many EDUs do we currently bill out? Bill out 6,000. Uh, EDUs we bill out is, is what, 7,000, 8,000? Six. See, six? seven, eight, six. I don't know, I don't so, know what the number is. Yeah. 9,000 EDUs and 6,000 customers, roughly. Well, that's, okay. I don't know that. Could that was information from guy, somebody we shouldn't mention. <laughs> so I don't know. In other words, I'll look into it and see if. Uh, I can tell you right now, we're kind of focused on it a year at the plant. Oh yes, it is year end. Yeah. So uh, quick look. take care of that. To that us. end, I'll uh, I'll see if mm -hmm. we can find the location for that information so I can be specific. Take, take okay. the EDU rate, 7,034 times 9,000. Is that about our budget? No. That's, That's the way it used to be. I'm sorry, Peter, I didn't hear you. That's not right. No, was. I was trying to calculate how many EDUs and what I was mm. using was our $8 million budget and dividing it by the seven, what is it, 734 or 743, the EDU rate, which would give us the number of EDUs. Okay. Um. But that doesn't compute. Yeah, well, uh, included in that budget is also septage that we receive yeah. as a fee, and they were previously receiving grease. Right. So we have started to receive septage again. Yay, income. So we have addressed that. When Charlie did it, it came out pretty close. 
Yeah. Can we get an update on those two test conditions that are at the plant with the um, wood chips and the Grisilla. Um, Grisilla. Well, no, it wasn't Grisilla. They were they were trying to make some type of fuel out of okay. grease. Biodiesel. Yeah. The, what, so it that would be That's the Grisilla. Grisilla. So That's Grisilla. Um, those people are showing up the plant tomorrow with a trailer to okay. install it into the tent and hook up to the electric followed by Greasilla to come in and start to process grease. Some of the processed grease will go to the biofuel people and the rest is a product that will be shipped off site and processed somewhere else. We will get a share of the tipping fees. So the Greasilla doesn't do all the grease? It doesn't it, do everything? It processes it to X product. The biofuel people will then take that product a portion of that product turn it to biofuel mm -hmm. the rest will go somewhere else to be turned into something else will we always sending the rest to someplace else or is it something i mean people I always know. ask me what is grusilla doing and i said well, i don't know resting comfortably other than it cost a lot yes it did this one's not costing us anything which is good Okay. They're coming under their, with their own packages, and they are operating under their own budgets. Yep. Mm. And the only thing we are doing is making sure that their system does not impact our system. Okay. Which I couldn't say previously under what was going on before. As to where it was going before, I can't tell you that either. If it was going anywhere. Based on the storage tanks that you guys just paid for, that mm. wasn't going anywhere. Are we any close to getting some but type of um, monitoring of grease traps throughout the town? I need to continue to staff up for that, but we are um, working that direction. Yeah, I get the staffing before I worry about the grease traps. Those need to be addressed, but. The way that we're going around looking at the lines, if, if someone's got a grease trap that's malfunctioning, you'll you can find see it. it in the line. You can see it with all the grease in the... Un unfortunately, it's kind of an after effect and we'd rather be proactive. Yes. But this is the world we're living in right now. And where are we with testing the wood chips to reduce nitrogen? Have they started? The pilot is... Uh, the engineering, I believe, is complete and then they're moving forward with okay. actually building everything. Okay, back to our next meeting. Do we want to do it at 6.30 or do we want to do it at 2 o'clock? 6.30. It's just a meeting. Because I don't know whether GHD or Charlie could come in another time. If I give them this kind of notice, I'm sure they can. I, I like the six, I like the six thirty time. Well, if if you do the two, you're talking about workshop. Not at this meeting, no. Okay. I'll leave it alone then. Okay. All right, six thirty is our next meeting on the eleventh. Uh, you ready? Yep. Let's Make a motion. We adjourn at seven o two. Second. Second it. Third it. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> but we, we do have to schedule the workshop, Jimmy and Tyler. Okay, you want to pass these signing papers?